Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1251. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about how much you need in emergency savings. Because I get asked this question quite a lot, People want to know how much should they have in their emergency savings fund, but also what are some emergencies and how much might those emergencies cost? Well, right now there's a difficult statistic about emergency funds, and that is that more than half or 63% of American workers are said to be unable to cover a $500 emergency expense right now. That's according to SecureSave, a provider of financial technology that helps employees offer emergency savings benefits. And only 48% of respondents to a poll in May of 1,000 U.S. adults by bank rate say they have enough emergency savings to cover at least three months' worth of expenses. Of course, without an emergency savings fund, you're going to likely tap into credit cards or a home equity line of credit, or something that might have a very high interest rate attached to it. So it's good if you can have some funds set aside for an emergency. What kind of an emergency? Well, it could be anything from locking yourself out and having to hire a locksmith, which averages about $150 nationwide, to some other things that are pretty common occurrences. What we want to avoid doing is having to dip into a 401k plan because people dipping into their 401k for a hardship withdrawal has reached an all-time high last year in 2022. So what are some of the other emergencies that are pretty common? Well, the most common is car trouble. If you have car trouble, you may need to call a tow truck. The average cost of getting your car towed is about $109 according to JD Power but it depends on how far you need it towed, and it could be up to $600 if you need to go as far as 100 miles. Of course, if you have something like AAA or towing attached to your insurance policy, your insurance company may pay for the tow that may be covered on your policy, you need to check. And if you have AAA, that's something that's also covered under AAA and could help you save a lot of money there whether you need help because you locked your keys in the car or whether you need a tow or you need your battery jumped, those are the kinds of things that AAA can help with. The second kind of emergency that's pretty common are medical emergencies. On average, urgent care visits can cost up to $200, while hospital emergency room visits can cost as much as $1,300, according to American Family Care. The third type of common emergency are household repairs. Last year, homeowners spent an average of $1,953 on home emergency spending, according to Home Services website Angie. Emergency spending had the largest increase in 2021 due to natural disasters in Texas, California, and New York, and 40% of respondents were impacted by extreme weather events. Some of the most common emergency household repairs include fixing, bursting, freezing, or leaking pipes, leaks from the roof, overflowing toilets, gas leaks, electrical hazards, termite or mice infestations, and mold growth, according to home management platform Thumbtack. Yeah, those are all pretty common emergencies. I would add on here dental emergencies as well. Some people have pain from something like a root canal, and they're in need of an emergency procedure to alleviate that pain. It can be well over $1,000 to have a root canal. Again, that can be covered under your dental insurance, or you might have a deductible that you have to pay before your policy kicks in. So about 32% of adults could not have covered an emergency of $400 completely with cash in 2021, according to the Federal Reserve, and their most common approach instead was to put the emergency expense on a credit card and pay it over time. Now, obviously, credit cards may be something you tap into, as well as a home equity line of credit if you have one already set up. But the other thing you can do is make sure that you have these things covered under your insurance plans. 
if you have a towing expense on your car insurance, if you have medical and dental coverage for emergencies on your plans, that can be extremely helpful to shift the cost to someone else. But the biggest thing you're going to want to do is have some cash on hand in case there is an emergency. You may have to liquidate some investments or you may have to liquidate some crypto if you don't have cash on hand in a bank account. The other thing that I recommend is just having cash on hand at home anyway in case of some kind of breakdown of electronics or problem with computers, which we've been seeing more and more on a regular basis where people have had trouble checking out in grocery stores or getting ATM money, etc. So have some cash on hand. That's a good idea too. And in case of an emergency, then you already have your savings there. That way you're not tempted to spend it. You're not seeing it in your bank account. It's hidden away in your house in a safe place in case of emergency. And an easy way to do that is just work up to it each week by putting some money aside so that you have a couple of weeks that would cover groceries, prescriptions, and gasoline for your cars over a couple weeks time. That's a good goal to save cash and have cash on hand. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of new podcasts as soon as they're available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.